I'd like to just welcome Dr. Hardy and, and his wife here today. Um, he had a vision almost 10 years ago that he would like to see a Suzuki violin program um, in, in a school, um, you know, out in a rural area. And weren't we fortunate that um, Dr. Hardy had a home here and was familiar with our school. Shinichi Suzuki thought about teaching the violin to young children, and I wanted to explain to you a little about why he did that. It was at the end of the Second World War, and this man, who was the son of the owner of the largest violin manufacturing company in the world, had grown up with violin violins. He had never played. He uh, didn't have children. He had never taught. But he thought that if they, only the children could learn to play the violin, they could have beauty in their lives that they could carry with them forever. 